Fume hoods are one of the most important safety features in a research laboratory. The hood is used to protect researchers from breathing hazardous airborne chemicals and the sash can be used for protective shielding. This presentation demonstrates how to use your fume hood properly to better protect yourself and our environment from exposure to hazardous materials. When you use the hood, you should turn on the hood light so you can see clearly. Check the hood certification sticker. It will list the date EHS last checked the hood, the average inflow, and whether the airflow was satisfactory. One should always check the quantitative airflow monitor or alarm to verify that airflow for the fume hood is proper. There are two types of airflow monitors used on campus fume hoods, digital monitors and differential pressure gauges. Digital monitors display air velocity into the hood and should read more than 100 feet per minute. Differential pressure gauges measure the difference in air pressure between the room and the hood's exhaust duct in inches of water. The red indicator should be inside or above the circular target. If the hood airflow monitor indicates low airflow, contact your department safety coordinator, EHS, or physical plant for maintenance. Airflow turbulence at the front edge of the hood can draw airborne contaminants out of the hood. In this case, the sash is too high, and when someone walks by, the low inflow velocity allows the smoke to come out of the fume hood. Adjust the sash to the proper height. In this case, the glass sash was raised to the maximum working height, as indicated by the joined arrows, then slightly lowered. The tissue on the sash is drawn in, indicating that there is airflow into the hood. When the sash is lowered, the capture appears better, but when the velocity becomes too fast, research samples can be sucked up the hood duct. Sashes properly adjusted and working further into the hood are the best way to protect yourself from inhaling hazardous chemicals used in the hood. Move extra equipment out of your way and always work at least six inches in from the front of the hood. Some hoods have a combination sash that can be opened horizontally or vertically. In this case, the sash is lowered, then a horizontal sash is adjusted to provide protection from explosive reactions or chemical splashes. Typically, there are no pollution control devices on fume hoods. The airborne contaminants made in the laboratory hood are exhausted from the roof stack into the environment. Never evaporate chemical waste through a hood, and when working in the hood, minimize the volatiles released to protect our air quality. When you are done using volatile chemicals, close and seal the container. When finished using the hood, close the sash and turn off the light for added safety and to save energy. In review, before using the hood, check the airflow monitor. Properly adjust the sash height. Always work at least six inches in from the front of the hood. Fume hoods exhaust into the environment. Minimize your fume hood emissions. In closing, if you have questions about your fume hood, ask your lab manager, chemical hygiene officer, department safety coordinator, or contact the Office of Environment Health and Safety. Also, read the fume hood fact sheet and other laboratory safety information available at the EHS website.